Capturing over a half century of classes, activities, and events, the photographic collection of Miami-Dade College includes millions of images, which are stored as original negatives, slides, and prints in the vault, and as born digital files on a server array. Overseeing all of these historical images is Archives King, Renee Ramos. Hi there. <laughs> This is our digital assets management system. It's what we use to manage all of the photographs that we have digitized over time as part of the college archives. So where is this? So this is a picture of Kendall Campus in 1967. It was known as South Campus back then. There were a series of uh, photographs that were taken before the campus was actually even opened. And they were staged, they had people standing around and looking like students. But as you can see, the, the campus is all really nice and, and new looking. And all of these trees, which are very big, large sized trees now, were just had just been planted. The other thing that the college was fond of doing back in the day was taking aerial photographs of different sites for the campuses. So this is actually a, an aerial photograph of the Kendall campus. And this was a construction photograph taken in 1967. And you can see here all of this area around here, which is now housing developments. Back then, it was really nothing more than just farmland and pine rockland and scrub. And this is the... Wait, horses. Oh, okay, yeah. So this is another construction photograph of Kendall campus. And as you can see, they decided rather than to try to get around the construction site on all-terrain cycles, which really weren't that big back then, they used horses. So you have these two um, architects of the Kendall campus riding around on horseback but wearing hard hats. There are other things uh, that we keep track of with photographs and for instance here uh, you see the name of the college which has changed four different times over history. You have some negatives here. What are mm -hmm. these items? Are you positive you'd like to see them? I'm positively Well let sure. me show you the negatives. So <laughs> most of the material that we have, the, the actual uh, photographs going back to the early 60s when the college was founded. The way that college photographers would document what was happening at the institution was by actually going out and taking um, photographs using film, which was the technology at the time. So we were talking about aerials and aerial photography. College photographers would, would get into a helicopter and then they would uh, fly over the sites of the campuses and actually take photographs. What we have found is that Photographic negatives are probably the safest and most stable materials that we have in the collection. So whereas we have made digitizing other materials a priority, right now what we're doing with the photographic negatives is we're digitizing them on demand. For instance, when the book fair uh, just recently celebrated their 35th anniversary, we digitized a lot of photographs relating to the earlier years of, of the book fair and it's more of a priority for right now that we take care of other formats like tape that are more vulnerable that might be disintegrating. Once we do digitize them, we're, we're making them available on the extensive system and uh, people can browse them and, and use them for different things. It's very common that when a famous person or politician gets some type of honor or passes away, we get photo requests since many of them have visited the college. Who are some of the famous students that have come through the college? Well, back in 1967, there was a drama student who participated in some plays. And if you look here, you'll see the actual play that he was in. This is a, a proof sheet. You're not going to be able to tell right away who it is. But if I zoom in to one of the actual stills that were produced here, to the left here is Sylvester Stallone was actually a student at Miami-Dade College back in 1967. One of the things that we did um, back when we started working on the photographic collection was to take the proof sheets that had been made for each one of these photo shoots that the college photographers did. So the way that these envelopes work is that college photographers would create um, an accession number and they have a description of the event and the client and date information. This has become very helpful over time in cataloging 
and tracking down photographs. We took the collection of 35,000 or so proof sheets that had been made and we digitized all of those. So what we're able to do now is with the accession number that was created for each of the rolls of film, we can track down a photograph. They've managed to stay in this order for 30 or 40 years, so we want to continue to uh, take care of the photographs and make sure that they're available. But these photographs shot on this type of film and stored in the conditions that we have them in will last indefinitely. As you can see, we do handle everything with archival gloves to prevent fingerprints or other kinds of marks ending up on the negatives or the photographs. We have negatives going through about 2003. After 2003, what happened was the college photographers started shooting digital photographs for all of the events and the um, documentation and the publications that were created for the college. The history of Miami-Dade College is well documented within its photographic collection with both analog and digital images and eventually it'll all be digital. Andrea's got to edit. Please edit this out. <laughs>